What is up guys and welcome back to another video on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful channel. Welcome guys, welcome back. Today we're watching another explanation video of the channel called DKDKTV. I have no idea what that stands for, but they are always really, really good at explaining stuff. And today we're watching the explanation for Dang. And um, we've just watched the live performance for that, because you guys told me that in this video they're gonna reference the live performance, the move, what they are like wearing, how they are like acting out in the live performance, the choreo a bit. So um, yeah, we've done that. Let's see what it has to do with the lyrics, because there are some, some numbers and some, some references. And I still don't know what Dang means, so a lot of stuff that is hopefully gonna be much clearer after this video. I'm excited guys, let's do it. Yeah, we just watched that. That live performance right here. Okay, I know you wanted this, so here we are. The rap line of BTS, RM, J-Hope and Suga dropped a hip-hop track recently yeah. on their SoundCloud called Dang. It's a song that has oriental and trap. Oh yeah, that is only on SoundCloud. I've, I've heard that. That track is not on Spotify. Why though? Is it like too controversial? I don't know. Beat at the same time. And it's also a diss track sending messages to their haters. Oh, okay. But okay. the wordplay inside it is just amazing. For example, the title Dang itself is used in multiple ways throughout the whole song. Yeah. These are the numbers. Dang. Your part, your sum, some part. These are all card combinations that come from a Korean card game called Sota or Hwatu. Those are really tiny cards. <laughs> Those are so tiny, okay? Simply think of them as the best combinations you can get during a game. Ah, okay. For example, Sam and Par, which is called Sam Par Kwangdeng, is the ultimate pair that nothing can beat. Oh, Thus, okay. the first meaning of Deng here would be translated into something like better or invincible. Again in the chorus, the word Deng is already used in two more different meanings. Okay. For these two lines, Deng is used as the meaning of wrong which originates from the imitation of a xylophone sound used in quiz shows or auditions when the participant is wrong or bad. <laughs> For this line... Okay, that's cool, okay, okay. Deng is used as the sound of a bell. And it also comes from a children's song called Hakyo Jongi Deng Deng Deng. Regarding Jay okay. mentioning homework in the next verse, there's a very high possibility that this line implies the meaning of go to school kids. The first lines of J-Hope's verse describe the criticism they received in the early ages about their hip-hop or rap style, or BTS being a flop. However, in the next lines, he explains that now they've become a worldwide bang from a dang. Damn, damn. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that, that makes so much sense right now. Yeah, true. That makes so much sense. Okay, but yeah. Like a bogey and none and a dang. It kind of gets trickier in Suga's verse. Yeah. The usage of Deng is suddenly changed without any notice. Yeah. The first Deng indicate the meaning of wrong or nope. But when he says, he suddenly jumps into the card game again. Goodbye is an everyday slang word for power slash influence. When you see a very successful person, you would say something like, or this everyday slang word's origin comes from the card game Sotta again. Good is a combination oh. of cards equivalent to 1 point to 9 points. It's the most common pairs you will receive during a game. In contrast, a Deng is above all goods. Oh. That is... Okay, that is way deeper than I thought it would be. <laughs> So that's, but of course it is, it is even Yungi's part, so... That's what Suga is saying in his last lines. Which means, I'm a thing and I don't care about you lower class yeah. goods. Yeah, that is just... 
balling. That's just showing off. It gets gotching it. So one more thing before we go into arms verse. Good has the same sound as good. Yeah. And yeah. this good means the end. Suga ends his verse by saying, 계속 걱정해주길 good. It could be a double translation as continue worrying about us, low pointers, losers, and continue worrying about us, the end. I'm out. Of like his drugs. verse, yeah. Dang. Holy shit, that is so good. And you know that all of this, all of this double meaning stuff is of course intended. There is like, it's just so good. It's just so good. Namjoon's voice is so satisfying in this. I don't know why it is so satisfying. He's like whispering a bit. Now, personally, Arm's part is the apex of this whole song. Okay. It's because in one single verse, he uses seven different usages of Deng. And I thought, and I thought German was hard. I thought German was hard. But apparently, Korean is on another level. The first line, 캐셔 계산 소리 땡, is literally the sound of the cashier opening. Which could yeah. also imply that he has a lot of money now. And the second line, 어릴 적 좋아함 얼음 땡, is a Korean version of tag. It's when kids run away, they shout 얼음, which is freeze, to get immune from the catcher, and then another survivor can come along and tag the frozen person, saying "deng," which unleashes him from the frozen state. And third, oh. not ding dong. That's just crazy, isn't it? How many meanings they are not only like have thought of, but to put them together in such a great, good context. Non dang means I'm correct and you're wrong. I'm ding dong, you're dang. Yeah. Yeah, true. And yeah. fourth, non chir good, non dang is again referenced from the card game. You're just a seven, but I'm dang. You're just like, you, you are a poor combination of cards, and I am the best possible combination of cards. You might be a seven pointer, but I'm above that tier. Fifth, Damn. ramen mokko chan orgul dang comes from the expression deng deng puotta. It's a fun way to describe your face is swollen after you've eaten ramen last night. Six. They have a word, not like not a word, but they have like they 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 have a special meaning for like a swollen face after eating ramen. Okay. Well, I believe there are similar stupid or weird little things we say in Germany for little stupid things. So okay. Dargo jider, do your thing. Darba nani air thing. RM is now playing with language now. The pronoun. It's crazy! The pronunciation of dang is similar to thang, which is the slang of thing in English. True, yeah. Last but not least, seventh, niga joro, mojo, kyor teng. RM finally uses another similar sound, teng, to make it rhyme with dang. Or tengi opta is a slang for oiga opta, which means dumbfounded. Okay. Phew, so basically, <laughs> I would summarize this song as genius wordplay and yeah. rhythmical onomatopoeia. The repetitive dang sound. It is even bilingual at some points. Like, a, not, not only bilingual, which is like normal standard for BTS, but it is bilingual wordplay. And that is on another level. That's, that, that is so deep. It's the song much more rhythmical and addictive. Whereas the various meanings of dang constantly changing throughout the song make it hard for foreigners or average people to understand, yeah. but at the same time makes it genius for a rap lyric. We celebrate rather than being a celebrity. This line shows BTS's attitude or mentality of being a celebrity in a nutshell. It's not about being special or enjoying the spotlight. It's about sharing and returning the love they received yeah. by celebrating together. This is a reference from a Korean saying called umuran keguri, which means a frog is stuck in a well and he thinks that well is his whole world. Thus, he's very narrow-sighted and he thinks he's the oh. best inside that small world. Oh, I believe we have a, we have like a, a similar thing in Germany. I don't know what it's called, but we have a similar uh, saying here. World. Keguri usually just means frog, but in this case, I think there's a hidden double meaning inside it, saying ke kurida, which is a slang for fucking lame or foul. 
I think RM is addressing to the haters in Korea who think they're the best with their own lame songs in this small country. He's saying they should die in this small well called Korea without even having the opportunity to see the big world outside, where BTS is now using as a stage. That is so good. And that makes so much sense. Because like, the majority, as always, the majority of Korean artists will never make it big out of Korea. That is just normal. The majority of German artists will never make it out of Germany, which is like, which makes totally sense. But BTS did. They are like a worldwide known phenomenon, so they can, they can say a line like that. That's crazy good. Last but not least, and to put that in a like common Korean saying, that is so well. Based. As a director's well commentary, I would like to point out the fact that despite this song being a diss track, there is actually no real hate or toxic cursing inside. But no, no, it is. It is just like facts for way. It is facts and wordplay. Rather, BTS chooses to play around playfully with the word dang in yeah. a teasing manner and swaggering about their current success. Yeah. For me, this is the point that sets apart this song from all other diss tracks. Low negativity, but comic and satirical high self-esteem. And that is, I believe, what is like, what has more impact. Like basic insulting is like, not that, you can brush that off easily, I believe. But that is deep, that is some deep not insulting some, but those are deep facts and things you cannot deny that are said there, so that's pretty good. Okay, that was a really, really good video of these guys. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Let's give them a sub. Okay, guys, that was it. That, that was the explanation for Dang. It really helped me out a lot. Like, for real, the, the whole song is, like, way better now on a different level. That was cool. I like that. Thank you all for, um, yeah. Just saying that I should watch that. Are there more explanation videos of them we should watch? Should we watch all for BTS they did? I don't know. We could. Would be nice, I believe. Okay, guys, that was it. Hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to smile today. Have a beautiful, wonderful day. Shoutouts to Chris. Thank you for your support on Patreon. That was it with the next video. See you soon.